stay in Accra area or do you have what it takes to become a competent boxer? What are you waiting for now? Email us now at jagbossapromotion at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube at jagbossapromotion. Stay inspired, stay safe, enjoy the season. Go My name is Comrade Coach Abiodun Obanla. Uh, all we need is we need the equipment first. And after equipment, we need monthly competition to assess the boxers. And uh, we need the backing of the government by providing money to approve money for the boxer so that I'd be able to go to competition from month to month like I have said earlier. We have. We have those boys in the primary school that will be training. So we group the coaches. There are some coaches who are training primary. There is a coaches who are training secondary. Ditto to every university girl now. It is a be approved in the Nuga that the boxing become participating. So very soon now we'll be featuring and participating in the university game. I have to thank God because being the session ahead is not easy and the coaches are working. And the last performance that uh, at the National Sport Festival, we came third. We won two goals, three silver, and one bronze. So we came third throughout the whole 36 to include Abuja Me 37. We came third. So it is me the we are trying. We are trying on those states. Really, really, I must converse to you. That is what made me a good boxer today. Because during our days, it was monthly, monthly, monthly competition tournament. So if I lost today, if I lost this month, I worked by next month. The boxer that defeated me, I will work that so that I'll be able to revenge and I beat him again. So it is improving, improving the boxers to work and to, to determine, to, to, to acquire what they need. Yes, uh, really, like I said, we are, we are many that, we, that uh, when we started the game, we are many. But it's only some few that remain. The some have traveled to abroad, you know. But I started when I was uh, eight years old, boxing. And uh, gradually I started in the weight category of 48 kg. And I led the boxing in the, at the at uh, the weight of uh, at uh, no weta that's 60 67 67 category that i retired that was 2001 and i spent roughly around 21 years in boxing both home and abroad i was the team to so olympic a team to Can uh, canada nigeria team i was a team to ghana so we, a lot of competition that we had. when we are in the national camp, we always travel then. So presently I'm ship boxing coach and I'm ABA referee. Uh, ABA, I'm a national referee in boxing. I'm ABA coach. ABA coach in the old world. Yes, the female boxer they are tried. They are very very dedicated. You know, they are, the, the ladies are so very easy to control. To me, I found them very easy than me counterpart. So when I say, if, you don't, if I did see you in training tomorrow, you are in problem. Before, even, even though if they are coming by eight before, 
the first seven or seven thirty. But boys, you see them complaining this, complaining that. Even though if you talk too much, they will just say, "Oh gosh, I will not come to the training again. I will go and run my accord. I will be. It is only if I ride the accord, I will get money. More than uh, how much are you paying me? And uh, it was sipping that we are giving them. Ah, coach uh, M O N. He, he, he is my father. He is my mentor. He, 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 he is the one that bring me into the game. Mm, coach Abayam. We live together. We sleep together. We eat together. We do everything in common. Among all the coaches, among all the bosses, I'm the closest. I'm the closest. He loved me. So he made me what I am today. And I appreciate him and I appreciate God. We, <clears throat> I, as a person, I have to thank the thank you. And uh, with God in your side, I pray that God Almighty will empower you, give you more wisdom and knowledge so that you can move the boxing more better than the way we, because very soon, by next year, I will retire, I will lead the service. Yes, so I even want, even though if I leave, I want the the the, the, the state team to be better than the the period that uh, I myself that I was session ahead. So I pray that God Almighty will guide you, will give you wisdom and the finance, because when you want to support without money, there's no way you can support. And God will provide for you people. My name is Okando Chibuisi. I'm one of the boxing coaches here in Ondo State. Well, the state of boxing in Ondo State, I cannot say it has gotten to its best, while I cannot say it is bad. So we are still in the process of transition, moving to a better place. And that's what we are working towards. There are various factors that can contribute to the development of boxing if we really want it to get to the desired standard. For example, there are no equipment, no modern equipment for the boxers to use. No standard ring, no IBA certified boxing gloves, and lots of equipment that they need in the gym. The infrastructure is there, but there are no equipment inside to really keep the boxers up to date. The gym is dilapidated. So one of the things that can be done is to make adequate provision of equipment, training equipment that the boxers can use from time to time and keep them in good shape. Other than it's a lack of competitions, you get to see that aside from one national competition in one year and the national sports festival in two years, the boxers are hardly exposed to competitions. And this borders down to sponsorship. So the boxers need to be sponsored, they need more competitions, they need to engage their colleagues in other states from time to time to keep up to date. In those days, there used to be international competitions. Boxers from Mondo State used to go on international trips to go and box, which I was one of them. Been to uh, Egypt, Bangkok, go to King's Cup, go to uh, uh, President's Cup in Egypt, King's Cup in Thailand. A lot of international competitions, but all those things are gone. Nobody cares about reviving all those things. You see, if really we want to take boxing from where it is to the glorious place, all these things need to be taken into consideration. I remember far back, I think, early 90s. We used to have in Ondo State here what we call monthly boxing tournament. Mostly those were uh, our days of coming up when we were still young. We call it monthly tournament and all of the time that was when there was provision for uh, sports development 
in the council. We used to have monthly boxing tournaments. But when things started changing, we had no choice. At a time, it was extended from monthly to quarterly. Before we knew it, everything ceased. And so, Jack Boxer promotion coming to resuscitate what is dead will go a long way. Reviving boxing in Ondo State. Like I said, in those days, that was when you had some of us that were at that time we were 14 15 but due to the consistency of the monthly training and competitions we were in the senior team representing the state in national competitions i remember 1993-1994 when we were 15 16 we boxed with we went with the national team with the state team to the national championship so you can see that level of consistency and development but these days all those things are gone so if jack promotion uh, jack boxer promotion is coming to revive that that will go a long way towards developing boxing in the states Rosalind Chiku, Rosalind Chiku is a very good boxer and you see she's not the only one there we have Kemi James there we have Kemi Aliu we have uh, Shion Blessing we have Comfort Ajayi almost all of them won medal at the last national sports festival so the female boxing is one area we should look into although in Nigeria it there is this philosophy that boxing is for male not only male the useless people who have no academic future that is the layman's belief but that philosophy should be thrown into the trash can why because boxing now with what the world is where the world is going now has become a global industry has become a place where children of professors will can thrust in their pruning hook and make a living. The female folks should also look at it as a place where they can make a living. Isaac Abayomi Adeyemi M O N. That's our father in boxing. He brought us into limelight. That was 1993, 1994, when he was still in the service of Ondo State Sports Council. He's a mentor. He has been a national uh, coach. The first Ondo State born to win a Commonwealth gold for Nigeria. That was in Auckland. And he's a mentor. His legacy lives on. We are a product of Azika Bayomi Adeyemi. And what he has planted in boxing will live forever. God willing. You see, why I loved such initiative is because everybody knows government to an extent is incapacitated when it comes to sports development. In the sense that, like a father who has many things to take care of in the home, he needs a wife to help with the little she can. And that is one of the things Jack Promotion is coming in to do for all those states. Permit me to say a woman that really helps her husband, that's a good wife. So let me say Jack Boxer Promotion is going to be a good wife for all those states. And together they will make boxing get back to its greater heights. Do you stay in Accra area or do you have what it takes to become a competent boxer? What are you waiting for now? Email us now at jackwasapromotion at gmail.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram and YouTube at Jack Promotion. Stay inspired, stay safe, enjoy the season.